you have a famous incident that happened in Hajj that, uh, you know, that Umm al-Fadl is directly behind. And, you know, subhanAllah, if, you, if you've ever been to Hajj, you know that uh, the heat can sometimes really, really become a burden. And I want you to imagine being in Arafah and under the hot sun of Arafah and not knowing whether you should be fasting or not. So in Medina, they, they started fasting Arafah well before, right? I mean, they've been fasting Arafah now for seven, eight years before the Prophet Sallallahu Hajj. And now they're making Hajj with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is the first Hajj of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with them. And they notice that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has not eaten or drink, dr drank anything and that he's just making dua, he's exerting himself in dua. He put his hands up alayhi salatu wasalam after salah and he continued with his hands up, never once do his hands come down alayhi salatu wasalam. And so the Sahaba are you know, coming around the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam, they don't want to interrupt his dua. <laughs> Look at the adab that they have, the manners that they have with the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam. They don't want to interrupt him and ask the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam, should we be fasting or not? And at the same time, they're getting dehydrated, it's hot. They don't know if they can break their fast or not. Umm al-Fadl, Lubaba, may Allah be pleased with her, she sees the scene happening. And so she takes a, 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 you know, she takes a glass of milk, laban, literally, and she hands it to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so that there could be an intervention without there having to be an intervention. If the Prophet some turned it away, then obviously they know they're supposed to be fasting. And this was after Asr. So they've already spent hours wondering if they should be fasting on the day of Arafah or not. When Umm al-Fadl hands him the glass, the Prophet some knows exactly what is happening. So the Prophet some he raises his, uh, his glass to the sky and then he drinks from it, alayhi salatu wasalam. And as soon as he did that, everyone starts to take a drink because they knew now that they didn't have to fast on the day of Arafah. If they were actually in Arafah. And that was the wisdom and the participation of Umm al-Fadl radiallahu ta'ala anha as well, uh, who, who had that vision, who, who understood uh, what was happening and saw a way and enjoyed a closeness to the Prophet to get the Sahaba out of that bind.